And welcome to Share Truth Apply Scripture. I'm Jordan Shambly, joined by Wesley Wildman and Cedar Sarton. And today our our dis- topic of discussion is sort of kind of on the relationship between popular culture and Christianity. Specifically, yeah. what happens when a celebrity begins to claim to be a Christian. Mm-hmm. And this has happened many times Or before. vice versa, someone who was mm-hmm. uh, a Christian once that also then becomes a celebrity Yeah, down the mm-hmm. road. You yeah, know, There's a couple of different things. But basically being lifted up in the spotlight um, uh, as a result of a skill or gift mm-hmm. or a talent you have. It could be sports. It could be entertainment. But you have this huge audience, yeah. and you're having to walk through that. Mm-hmm. Which um and and to give them we're, we may be hard on them at times so to give them a little bit of um a sympathy or understanding um for those that struggle with this the reality is they are to be fair um as they walk through their Christianity they are on a lot uh they're a lot more noticeable yeah their failure yeah. their failures and their good thing and yeah. their good things are a lot more noticeable as a result of the platform that they have yeah. Well, so. every every move they make is printed in magazines. There you go. Slapped on the internet. It's everywhere, mm-hmm. and there's no getting away from it. And, and nobody would ever in the media misconstrue anything. Right. So that no, <laughs> never. no. I mean, yeah, it's always <laughs> no, fair, right? To- yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. That's total tongue and cheek there, because we know that um, uh-huh. uh, people, uh, the people in the media, and other people sometimes, other outlets will try to mm-hmm. manipulate I, uh, one line here or there for their game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think as we started this conversation, a lot of people immediately had names pop into mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. One in particular that I know uh, they've heard on AFR through the different uh, news sources and uh, shows that we have, uh, Kanye West. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. that's probably a big one that everybody popped up. I will. S- I it's will. It's more s- on the positive side, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and and I will say this: when it comes to any of these celebrities, don't put another human being on a pedestal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's the first thing I want people to keep in mind. Yeah. Like, don't keep us. Don't, don't put us on a pedestal, because right. it, it seems that whenever a celebrity uh announces says something they're a Christian, people, you know, of course, people are watching them like a hawk. Sure. Uh, but then when they mess up, uh, the Christian community, they're absolutely devastated. Right. And I'm like, well, I mean, you should be heartbroken sure. mm-hmm. over sin, period. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but don't hold someone to such a high standard. because yeah. you know, Just remember they are human. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. don't, it, then you begin to worship that person yeah. as a Christian, you know. Yeah. That's now, one thing I did have to learn, though, you know, I, you know, Matthew 18 teaches us that if we have a problem with an individual to go to them privately. Mm-hmm. But I have had to learn, though, over the years of working at AFA and working with Engage, mm-hmm. that when you do have uh, s- uh, those that have a, I say not, all, I say celebrity Christians, but all those that have a major platform, they could, they mm-hmm. could serve in politics, they could yeah. serve in sports. Um, but basically, they have a, a major platform. I did notice, though, that if they make a um, a bad decision or a sinful action publicly, it is fair to bring to call them back to repentance publicly mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so we're not saying that um, it is important, though. To I guess what I'm saying we as we follow them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it is fair. Now we want to we want to weigh out our criticism. Mm-hmm. You know, make sure it's not over the color paint on the wall. You know, right. it's yeah, got to really exactly. got to mean something. You know, it's got to be a, an essential part of the faith. Mm-hmm. But I think it is important that uh, we do hold those people that have a, a platform like that accountable mm-hmm. to the to, to both the good and the bad. And so right. I think it's important too to come along with them and yeah. encourage Ob- them when they make good decisions. Obviously, working here, we're not saying don't call out wrong sure. when we see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that yeah. is not because that's what. That's one of the things that is done around here. We mm-hmm. see wrong and yeah. we speak out against it mm-hmm. uh, and uplift, you know, truth and what's right. Um, and that's that's our job. Mm-hmm. So as someone, I may not be as well known as some other names on the AFR network, but I sit here at this, I sit here at this mm-hmm. desk mm-hmm. And I say things that I know are going to be broadcast over all these radio right. networks. Mm-hmm. I have to be ready for people to say what they're going to say about it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. make their comments about it. I, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I know what's going to, ha- you know, I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. not like, oh, so I didn't know everybody was listening yeah. to the radio. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think one of the biggest takeaways uh, over the years that I've learned when it comes to, um, 
having a celebrity Christian. Well, in this particular case, the Kanye situation, he was once he he was in the entertainment mm -hmm. industry and he was lost and mm -hmm. then he got saved. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A lot of the discussions that we have around the table are those that were are saved mm -hmm. and then they begin to act and behave and say things like a lost person. Right. Yeah. And so that there's that they think that most of the time that's our position that we were, we're having to respond to that angle. Yeah. I think it's refreshing. Uh, now, as we've said before in the program. Uh, we're we're gonna wait and see, mm -hmm. you know. Like most, you know, like a lot of people with with Kanye's Christianity, mm -hmm. because he, he himself will tell you he's not a theologian. He's mm -hmm. a new he's a new Christian. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. his language. So um, so he's he's growing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's a wait and see. But I think it is refreshing and very optimistic to see that somebody in his um position with mm -hmm. all the power, yeah, so to speak, in quotations yeah, that sure. he has. Mm -hmm. That he's willing to humble himself and yeah. begin to follow Christ and His teachings. Yeah, and it is a fine, a line to to walk on for us as as people who are um, who are Christians ourselves, seeing someone in that position claim to be a follower of Christ. It's mm -hmm. a fine line for us to walk between. Um, on on one hand, we we want to understand yes, they are new Christians. There's going to be a lot of maturing to do, especially. Sure. Uh, and, and in some cases, it's going to be drastic maturing that has to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and we can be praying for that person, supportive of them. On the other hand, we have to understand that we that the reputation of Christ is also yes. on the line. Yes. Um, so Absolutely. on our part, I think what you said, like coming publicly and saying, uh, well, maybe not, you know, that yeah. thing that you said might not be correct. And, and I think about, I think a good Our example. decision. Yeah. Or decision yeah, absolutely. That they made. Yeah. yeah. And I think uh, an example of this, maybe not 100% um, applicable, but it, it's it's similar, is when um, Priscilla and Aquila uh, met Apollos for the mm -hmm. first time, and yeah. he's this eloquent speaker. He I mean he and I, and and I think in a certain kind of circle, he was a celebrity. People were coming from all over the place to listen to this man because he could talk so well, he could speak so well on issues. Um, yet he had a lot of theological problems. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't understand a lot of things, and so they took him aside. Um, and taught him, you know, and they said, look, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you need, you need to be in, and not, now most celebrities are not, maybe not most, but some celebrities are not trying to teach if right. they're a Christian, especially sure. Connie. And I, I appreciate that about him. And it is refreshing yeah. that he has taken that humble posture and saying, now I'm not a teacher. Don't yes, like yes, take yes. what I say as like, you know, teaching. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when that does happen, especially when that happens, when they make an assertion and it is more of a listen to me, listen to this thing yeah. that I'm saying, um, then it is, I think, our responsibility to answer that if yeah. it is incorrect. Yeah, I, I do appreciate mm -hmm. that, the, uh, that aspect. The fact is he, he's still doing the music mm -hmm. uh, and they are putting on the services yeah. Yeah. and stuff, but he's allowing more, you know, ta you know learned pastors to mm -hmm. come in and yeah. speak. So he's not getting up and speaking, and he's you know doing doing the music, but he, it does seem that he is allowing himself to be ministered to yeah. and discipled to, so he's not trying to teach mm -hmm. from you know himself yeah. and what he believes. He really is turning to scripture and uh, other wiser people. <laughs> yeah, and and to be honest, um, uh, this situ his situation in particular was kind of um, a convict uh, conviction convicting thing for me mm -hmm. um when he initially started doing mm -hmm. these sunday services i was i was super skeptical to be sure. honest like I, I was like i've seen this before oh yeah i've yeah. seen when some when a celebrity their conscience starts bothering them so they make something like, like a gospel sure. album or something i've yeah. seen that before yeah. and i wasn't going to hold my breath to see what happens next i was surprised i mean thank the lord i was very pleasantly surprised yeah. by what actually is coming out of this um but yeah, like I, I initially, I was very skeptical, and and as this things begin to develop, um, I see his heart in this, and how really there seems to be a genuine work of the Lord in his yeah. in his life, and Amen. it was a reminder for me too when I hear someone in that position, or when I see someone in that position speak of the Lord, you know, in a, mm -hmm. in a way that th they're they're claiming to follow him, to pray for them yeah. instead. I mean, obviously, it'd be discer discerning, and we'll get into discernment next in the next segment. Um, but to pray for them yeah. and to pray for their family. <laughs> yeah, and that's one thing we want to find ourselves doing is praying for them, mm -hmm. uh, being concerned about them. And any time they um, do or at the moment that they do make a public mistake mm -hmm. or, or, or sin or whatever that, whatever that is, I think it is important for us to 
um, approach them in a way, and not just celebrity yeah. Christians, but all Christians alike, when we approach somebody who's, who is struggling in a sin or, in, or caught in a sin, the Scripture uses to, to approach them with gentleness and, right. and care. That's in Galatians. And so uh, we always want to have that anticipating hope of restoration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to be changed. Now, there could come a point, and we've seen it before. I can't think of the names off the top of my head, but there's been a couple Christians in the last year who have denounced their faith. Mm -hmm. They were celebrities, and they said, no, yeah. we're not going to follow yeah, Christianity yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. And so obviously you take the same approach and the wanting to see them restored, but ultimately they've made a, a purposeful, um, permanent decision mm -hmm. in their own life and that's his church. So you do what you know. You can, you can only do so much. Is yeah. what I'm saying. But but what I'm saying is, I want to be careful with our hearts. We don't we don't hope that on anybody. Right. Yeah. And just because mm -hmm. they make a mistake, that, that we don't want to toss them out as if they can't be restored. Yeah. Or, or they make a bad decision. Yeah. Because mm. it could it could be that they are growing in maturity, and that may wow. be their your mm -hmm. opportunity or the church's opportunity to go. Well, no, no. Let's look at church history here. Let's look what the scripture says about that, and that could bring them back. And then and then like all of us, we could, they could be brought back like all of us have yeah. at, at some point. Absolutely. And then and we move along. But if we're too quick to say, see, I knew they were going to do mm. that because 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 yeah. they're celebrity Chris. I knew they. If we do that and we toss them out too quickly. Mm -hmm. Too quickly, and what, what, rather than them doing it on their own, mm -hmm. tossing themselves out, then I think we could do some damage there. Yeah. But I think if we give, you know, hang with them, you know, give them a shot, and then ultimately, if they make mm -hmm. the decision, no, I'm sticking with my sin, I'm sticking with a bad decision, mm -hmm. then they have to reap the consequences. Yeah. It always, you know, in in those moments, whenever you're dealing with a situation like that, and you see someone proclaiming Christ, um, and their and you see their actions, you don't like it, you do like, you know. Remember where you came from. Yeah, exactly. Remember yeah, who good. you were before mm -hmm. you were a Christian. Mm -hmm. um, and remember what you could have been mm -hmm. if you had not given your life to yeah, Christ. Right. Remember what you've been saved from and just uh, pray for that person. Yeah. And also, yeah. also, you know, be very careful not to just jump on a bandwagon because someone says they're a Christian. Because just because someone gets up and proclaims that they're a Christian doesn't mean all yeah. their actions are going to line up. Oh, we've got, there's a lot of labels of Christianity and denominations throughout America that's yeah. all unfolded 100% on uh, several key issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Announce that. So you're, right, you're exactly right yeah. about that. Well, it, it is key to be clear on what the gospel is. Well, number one, you have to, when someone makes a claim to follow the gospel, you have to be clear on what that is. Um, stay tuned for the next summit. We're going to talk about uh, how you can discern to the best of your ability if someone's confession of faith is true and um, how to respond to those so stay tuned for that